notice we don't get any girls at all. So I know it's not our clothes because, I mean, we dress pretty cool. It's a pretty awesome shirt, man. Thank you. You know, and uh, I've been working out lately. Been working out? What do you mean? I'm doing two hours of biceps a day. Impressive. Thank you. Thank yeah. You, you uh, should start working out yourself as well. Well, I jogged like 10 minutes last week. Oh, that's a long time. I know. I bought a watch like a time myself. Cool. Yeah. But, you know, working out's important if you want to get the ladies. It's about sacrifice. But if you haven't noticed, we kind of don't get any ladies at all. No, we don't, my friend. We're just going to have to push it even harder. Three hours of biceps. I might run again next week. Really? No, I'm good. The first weekend in May is well known for a famous horse race. But there is a little known holiday that falls on the first Friday in May. It is simply known as No Pants Day. There's no indication of when this leg liberation movement began. And many people are unaware of it. They simply have what's known as vestophobia. And some of these people feel that every day is No Pants Day. What do you think people did before pants? When I was five, it was cool, and now I'm 25, and all of a sudden I'm a pervert. <laughs> you know, my mom bought me a pair of pants one time. She told me they were real comfortable. I knew she was lying. When I was born, I wasn't wearing pants. So what does it matter now? I like to do a lot of stretching. Um, tennis is good. Tennis is bike riding. Yeah. Um, Hanging out. Jump rope. Picking especially. up girls. Yeah, and putting them down after I picked them up. Maybe. Kind of counterproductive, but... Yeah. Take them home. The first step is already done. Yeah. They know right where I'm going. Because <laughs> you, you already got your pants off, it's right? It's kind of suggestive, right? Right? Yeah. But when I'm playing basketball, I feel it's kind of, you know... I've tore one time. I went for a jumper, and they kind of tore it See, I'm a 100% cotton guy. I won't wear anything Are you? but 100% cotton underwear. Fruit of the loom? Actually, I'm a Hanes man. Are you? The Michael Jordan's commercial sold me. Indeed. People, uh, people look at me and they're like, you know. He must work out. He, yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, you know, probably. So I have been working out mm -hmm. a little bit. I so. do a lot of groin exercises. Do a lot of legs. Do a lot of legs. But a lot of people at the office, they kind of treat me. Sexually? I don't want to say different because I'm not different. But they treat me uh, like I'm not like one of them. You're not one of them. Well, yeah. You're unique. Thank you. I know. Thank you. That felt good. That's how it feels like to not wear pants. Feels good. I feel like my typing is really improved too. I don't yeah. shift in my seat as much. I sit down and I'm ready to go. I don't like people with pants. You want to know why? Fascists. Because they're different. Yeah. There's a you bunch know? of weirdos. They don't get me. They drank the Kool-Aid. Yes. If I'm not wearing pants and you're wearing pants, it's like, hey man, we must have not a lot in common. Right. It's like everybody's wearing pants. It's like, but I know when they go home, they're not wearing pants. They just want to be like us. Maybe they're the outsiders and we're the insiders. That's what I figure. Yeah? Plus, what are they hiding? Maybe they're not wearing any underwear. Those are the people that I can't stand. Exactly. Uh, you okay there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Eric, Mark, I'm Dr. Don Denver, a self-help author, and the city asked me to uh, discuss with you your issue of not wearing pants in public. Well, it's not... Really an issue for us. Yeah, I don't, I don't have an issue with it. Yeah, we're, we're uncomfortable wearing pants, so... Mm -hmm. Well, there is a city ordinance that says that you have to have proper dress in a public area. I feel pretty good not wearing pants. Yeah. Pretty comfortable over here. I think I'd be uncomfortable wearing pants. Right. You need to wear pants in a public setting. I feel pretty fine not wearing pants. I don't know yeah. about you. You know who didn't wear pants? Jesus. Jesus. You know who wore pants? Hitler. Well, Catherine Hepburn wore pants. What does that got to do with anything? I'm out of here. All right, Donnie Denver, we're rolling. You're not wearing a shoelace, pal. Hey, man, I got it right here. Besides, you guys ain't wearing pants. Everyone's so upset about us not wearing pants, Mark. Tell me about it. It's like, sometimes I just feel like not wearing pants really hasn't gotten us anywhere. Where hasn't it gotten us, man? You've come so far from not wearing pants, right? Good point. 
Just makes you think sometimes, you know. Oh, that right. guy's not even wearing pants ready right now. To part. Hey. Check this out. Woo! Some people don't eat meat, I don't wear pants. Pants just rub me the wrong way. Levi Strauss was a damn fool. Some people put their pants on one leg at a time. I don't put pants on at all. Yeah. I spend no time putting pants on. When I jump out of the shower, I'm dressed in like a second. My pubes aren't even dry and I'm dressed. Top 10 people who didn't wear pants. Socrates. Moses. Jesus. Alexander the Great. Russell Crowe and Gladiator. Yeah. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. A lot of people don't know he hated pants. True. True. Mm -hmm. A lot of things don't make sense. Pants are just one of them. 